are we all doing today? So, we are here for a Raiders rebuild today. So, I went back and forth on many different ways to do this. It's like, use a roster that has all the draft picks and whatnot. Or use a roster with all the, with just up to the free agency signings. And then do the draft that way. I thought it would be better suited to start at the end of the Super Bowl. So we'll have the 2020 off season, then 2021 will be officially year one kind of thing. So I decided to do it that way, see how differently the draft will play out as opposed to how it happened in real life. Have a little more fun with it. But anyway, I haven't done a rebuild in the hot minute. I wanted to do one. So that's exactly what we're doing here. As you see, Derek Carr is still our guy for now. Rock an 80 overall star. I mean, it'll be good f for the moment. Got Tyro Williams, A. Jones here. Also, Josh Jacobs emerges as stu oh, look, got a superstar running back right away. Outside of Rodney Hudson and Gabe Jackson. But Gabe, I don't know how old you are. Yeah, outside the two aging vets here, our offensive line is trash. And Darren Waller got him, he's a star dev also. Let's do a quick generate best, just to fill spots. If we're looking at the defensive side of the ball, we have a lot of depth going on on our D-line. Some of these I could probably use as good trade pieces. But, who knows, our corners are a bit suspect. The safeties are cool. All, albeit kind of old, though. Because LaMarcus Joyner is hitting 29. Carl Joseph here is 26. So, we got some mileage out of Carl Joseph yet. But our linebackers, not all that great. D-line, got a lot of depth, but nothing, like, really jumps out at you. And then, special teamers and all that shit. So, and as far as, like, last Reese, oh, Carl Jones, Carl Joseph's on his, almost on his way out. I might, let, let, let's get that extension done here. I'll, I'll even pop it to a four-year, up the salary a bit. There we go. Gotta lock that down, star dev at 26. And then Jalen Richard. I'm just gonna throw this offer too quick. All right, boom. Because I plan on actually using him as a bit of a trade piece, so we'll see what happens here once we get into free agency. But... Um, let's hope in over these five years we can bring the Raiders back to the Super Bowl. Alright, so I've gone and done all of what I'm, what I'm going to do in free agency here. We ended up signing Danny Trevathan. Aldrich Rosas to a seven year, because, you know, have him for the full thing so I don't have to worry about re-signing a kicker. We also signed RG3 to be a backup, and Graham Glasgow is kind of our uh, our big signing here. But we did make a couple of trades also. We sent Zay Jones a th and two thirds over to Washington for the number two overall, and then we sent Tyrell Williams and, a th and, and our fourth over to the Patriots for twenty three. We also signed. Devin Funches here. And that's about it for our free agency moves. On to the draft. Alright, here we are. Draft recap. This is what we got. I didn't trade out. I thought about trading out a couple of times, but never did. So we ended up picking up Jeff Okuda, Kenneth Murray, Andrew Thomas, and AJ Terrell with our four firsts. Got Denzel Moons in the third. And I picked this guy in the 7th because I like this 
like the last name of warriors. So all were hidden devs except for Nigel down here. So let's see how the season plays out. All right, so here we are, year number one, officially, anyway. Rockin', eh, 80s were bored, seemingly pretty average. We got Andrew Thomas starting. Picked him up in the draft. We're actually gonna move Mims up. So I also signed Deshaun Jackson and Philip Dorsett for a little bit of depth. Still have Jacobs and Richard. Kenneth Murray is going to be starting there. When our two rookie corners are going to be starters also. I think what I'll do... I'll leave Hunter Renfro as the... Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. Keep Hunter Renfro as the slot guy. And then have Mims learn a little thing or two from D-Jax and Dorset. What? Here's to year one, going well. All right, so here we are at the official midway point for three and one. Okay. <laughs> We're only a half game back from the Chiefs right now. So <clears throat> anything can realistically happen towards the end of the year. We did have two dev trade scenarios pop up, but both of them were fails. So, let's see how the second half of the year plays out. Well, it started well. <laughs> we won one game since the bye. We finished the season at 5, 10, and 1. Let me just show you this. Let me just show you how... Our season ended up playing out here. So, 2-2, two 4-2, and two, four and two, great. We tied a Buffalo and lose all but one game after that. So it's like, we shit the bed after that tie with Buffalo. Indy, by the way, was undefeated at that point. He just got beat up on at the end of the year, man. Ugh, that was brutal. Taking a look at stats here. Oh, God, Derek Carr was trash. 3,100 yards, 21 touchdowns, 12 picks. <sighs> Josh Jacobs was a beast, though. Would have loved more touchdowns, but 1,200 yards, not bad. Jalen Richard pitched in nine scores and 488. A no thousand yard receiver, but Devin Funches by over 200 yards is our best receiver. Four touchdowns, six for Waller, five for Renfro, two for Djax, and three for Jalen Richard. But offensively, we shit the bed. But hey, Graham Glasgow only gave up one sack. That's Dev Trait boost worthy to me. Anything. Less than three sacks given up is definitely Dev Trait Boost worthy, in my opinion. Oh, God. Damn it, tackles. But anyway. Defensively, Kenneth Murray led the team in tackles with 114. He also had a half a sack and a pick. Sacks. Oh, God. Those were... There was quite a few, but... When... Like, they're very spread out, but there wasn't a lot of sacks on the whole. Jeff Okuda, though, had five picks. Go, there you go, young fella. No defensive touchdowns. And... Oh, yes, we were looking at kick and punt return. No kick return touchdowns, and no punt return touchdowns. So, this year is a wash... 20 se well, we were 22nd in defense. We could not. I need to get some better pass rushers. But yearly awards. Mahomes is your MVP. Didn't expect to see any Raiders on these two things. Yep, Gruden not even on the list. Offensive player of the year was Patty Mahomes. D 
Defensive player of the year, Dante Hightower, my boy. No Raiders here. Offensive rookie of the year was Tua Tagovailoa. No Raiders here. But defensive rookie of the year was my three defensive rookies. One, two, and three. Okuda, Murray, and Terrell. There we go. Best quarterback was Patty Mahomes. Obviously, Carr is not going to be on that list. Josh Jacobs was 10th for best running big. No Raiders here. Rodney Hudson made the best O-line. Nice. But. Jeff Okuda was the best defensive back. Let's go. That boy don't get a boost in dev trade. Speaking of which, let's check out dev trades because I forgot to midway. So, any, like... So, Denzel Mims turned out to be a star. Austin... Austin... Or Andrew Thomas. There we go. I had... To, I literally forgot dude's name for a second. Was... A star. Okuda's an X-Factor. Nice. AJ Terrell is a star, and Kenneth Murray is a superstar. Obviously, these can improve come Super Bowl week, and if they do, I'll let you know. All right, so, so far in the Pro Bowler, Rodney Hudson made the Pro Bowl. Nice. Unfortunately, Graham Glasgow did not. He should have, though. Snubbed. Um... And as it's standing right now, Jeff Okuda, cornerback one. And that's about it for us as far as Pro Bowlers go. This trade was too big to wait until the transaction screen at the end, y'all. So we sent Derek Carr, our fourth round for this year and a third round for next season over to Minnesota for the number one overall pick. Only made one for agency move. It was J.C. Jackson. On to the draft. Alright, here we are. Draft recap. So, Dylan Moses here was our pick at... Because we actually traded out of number one. Went down to number four. And that picked up a first next year from Baltimore for it as well. And a second, I believe. But, we have Dylan Moses here. We're actually going to flip him. I think to right outside linebacker was or left either way he's a scheme fit there so 79 hidden and we got trey lance here 75 hidden dev 20 yes i picked this trevor lawrence also went number two i was originally gonna do trevor lawrence at one but i was like i don't know like, the trade offer from Baltimore looked nice, and they picked Jamar Chase at number one. So I'm like, oh, Trevor could fall to me. He didn't. And I was like, if I don't jump on Moses now, I'm not going to get him later. So, we jumped at Moses on four, Trey Lance at seven. Then we got Jaden Lars Woodbay at... In the second round, 76 hidden. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I was in the right screen the whole time. We're actually going to move him to free safety because, let's face it, Jonathan Abram, not doing much of any favors. Jamari Sawyer, 75 hidden in the, at the end of the second. Then we picked up Tadaryl Slayton in the fifth and Jay Wiggs in the sixth. Slayton also had A-plus block shed. Or A minus block shed. I was like, uh, yes. So, <laughs> on to year number two. All right, coming in live here. Um, we're going to be trading Lamarcus Joyner because we have Lars Woodbane now. And the best I can get for him is uh, a future third. Then I'm debating. I think I'm going to go. Send him to Washington because I don't want him exactly in my conference. So he's going to go to the Redskins for a 2023 third and a 2023 seventh round pick. All right. 
at the start of year number two, 81, 83, 80 for the ratings there. This is how our lineup's going to shake up. Got Trey Lance as the new starter. And Mims is going to be our third wide receiver. Renfro is still our slot guy. So Mims will be like a deep threat option as well. Our line looking solid. Jamari Sawyer. I am going to... Let him develop a little bit. And he might end up starting this season. So... We'll see what happens there. But... Moses and Wood Bay are going to be starting here. And then otherwise, I, I did give to Daryl Slayton the second D tackle position, mostly because I couldn't. I, I want to utilize his block shedding. And then Mims is going to be our kick returner. And here's how all this shakes out. All right, year number two. Let's begin. This one's important. Can Josh Jacobs get himself to an X Factor? Let's find out. Nope. Well, we got a win, but we. Yeah, no, we're not doing well right now. But how 3 and 5 through 8 games is only a game back in the division? I don't know, man. <laughs> like, let's give ourselves a check of our dev trades here Sawyer's is still going to be hidden but Trey Lance is a superstar nice and then Wood Bay is a superstar Moses only ended up being a star but there's room for that to improve here but nice pick of the superstars there Slowly but surely, we're on our way up here. Nice. Also, he's up for a dev trade this week. Nope. Another not so great season. We're tied for last in the division at 5 and 11. Could have been much worse. So, let's take a look at the stats on the season. Trey Lance. Shit, the bed! 3,200 yards and 11 touchdowns. Oh my god! 1,163 and 12 for Josh Jacobs, so he had a baller here. Devin Funches, close to 1,002 scores, but... Oh my god! Glasgow only gave up a single... Trent Brown! Gave up less than three sacks. Nice. I did end up starting Jamari Salyer, though. So it looks like Trent Brown might have just earned himself... Brown and Glasgow might have just earned themselves some dev trades here. But... Dylan Moses and Ken Murray. 116 and 115 tackles. Eight TFLs. Murray had a little few more sacks, but... Speaking of sacks on the whole, Mo Hurst had 10, Crosby 7.5. Let's see what our interception numbers are looking like. Okuda had 2. Any defensive scores? That would be a negative. Punt return, or kick return, and punt return. 27th in offense. Ninth in defense. Okay, so our defense is doing the work. We might have to change, like, schemes or something, because this offense is a joke. But anyways, Lamar Jackson wins MVP. We're not going to be on Coach of the Year, so I ain't going to bother looking. No Raiders. Von Miller wins here. No Raiders. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Trevor Lawrence with Trey Lance at 2. Defensive Rookie was J2 Fele with Dylan Moses at 2. And Wood Bay at 3. Or at 9, rather. I'm sorry. Lamar, best quarterback. Yeah, Lance ain't going to be on there. 
Jacobs at five. Hollywood Brown wins that. Last O line. Oh, geez. D line. Hey, Mo Hurst was number 10. How. Anyway, not going to question it. Okuda doesn't even make the list this season. Oof. But ninth in defense, but 27th offensively. Like, ugh, gross. We need to do something about that and quick. Rodney Hudson's return to the Pro Bowl. Nice. Um, outside of that, Mo Hurst didn't make it. None of my linebackers made it. Yeah. Only Hudson. All right, I decided to go out and spend a little money. So, our receivers have been trash. I decided to bring in Devontae Adams, or at least try to. And then, we're also going for Leighton Vander Esch as well, because, well, we don't have a left outside linebacker. So, hey, let's see if we get him. All right, so, moment of truth. Did we get the free... We did not get Vander Esch, unfortunately. But we did get Devontae Adams, though. So, not too bad. All right, here we are in our draft recap. So, we got Kayvon Thibodeau and 80 overall hidden. Like, uh, okay, game. Load up. There you go. <laughs> hidden dev there. And then we got Savion Jackson, 74 hidden. However, I am going to move him up to left outside. Because that is a serious need. So he's going to go there. Then we got Austin Stonier. 76 hidden tight end. Frank Lath. And then we just got a lot of a lot of depth moves here. Nothing as far as like dev traits or anything, but on to year number three. Well, this is good news. Josh Jacobs ended up getting his uh, X Factor at the end of the year. Look at that. He's got protective custody. He also has Bulldozer, and we don't know what his second ability is yet, but right on. We're actually going to start Stonier, because uh, we're going to put Waller on trade block here. Alright. Obviously, we all know about the addition of Devontae Adams in free agency. Avon Thibodeau. Did I need to put him at right outside my beggar? Yeah, because Dylan Moses is supposed to be playing right outside, but they have him playing left for reasons. I, I guess, dude. But Thibodeau is going to be starting as, as well. So. I, I might go in and adjust that later. But. Kia Watson's now our kick returner. There we go. We're all good here. All right. On to season number three with our 84, 87, 81 team. Only offer, taking it. So, absolute dud of a year, y'all. Like, 5, 10, and 1. Ugh. So, I didn't want the schedule. I wanted stats. Fifth off, fifth in offense. How did we suck so bad? 25th in defense will probably do it. And there's a lot of greatness on my defense. Like, come on now. And anyway, Trey Lance, third in the MVP voting. The winner was uh, Josh Allen. 
Ray Allen was also Offensive Player of the Year. Lance was six. I didn't want NFC. Defensive Player of the Year, Miles Garrett. With Dylan Moses at six. Jaden Daniels, Rookie of the Year. Offensive Stoner and Nikia Watson at eight and nine. Defensive Rookie Lewis Saint Thibodeau was at three. Quarterback Burrow. Are we even on this list? Nope. Running back. Josh Jacobs was seventh there. None of my receivers. None of my O line. Not my D line either. Bill and Moses fourth on the linebacker list. For DBs. Nobody. But Rosas was the best kicker. I'll take that. Small win here. Now let's look at the stats. 3,776 yards. 29 scores and 13 touchdowns. Like, okay, Trey Lance, not bad. Not bad. Not great, but ain't bad either. Josh Jacobs, still a beast. 1,200 yards, 6 touchdowns. Devontae, almost 1,000 with 7. Renfro had 10 touchdowns on almost 600 yards. Nice. Nice spreading out the ball, but... Trash otherwise. All of my line gave up less than 10. Only single-digit sack give up. I like it. Moses and Murray, our linebacking duo. 108 and 103. They're absolutely killing it. Dylan Moses, Mohurst, and Thibodeau all had six sacks. Now he picks. Murray and Woodbay had two. Any defensive touchdowns? No? Okay. No punt return, or kick return, rather. And no punt return touchdowns. Okay. Hmm. Gruden on the hot seat, y'all. Well, Rodney Hudson's on the Pro Bowl again. As is Trent Brown. All right, we're moving up in the world. That's two Pro Bowlers. Let's see if we get another one. Dylan Moses a third for a third Pro Bowler. Rose is for four. Not bad. So we're just about to go into the draft here. I just noticed something. Thibodeau is an X Factor. Dab dab. Awesome. We traded our other D tackle for and two thirds for the number three overall. We're gonna move Savion Jackson to starting. And then nothing new on the offense except our line took a bit of a hit and nobody wanted to sign with us, so hey. That's great. Making moves. Alright y'all, so here's what our lineup's looking like. Oh, by the way, Dylan Moses is an X-Factor now. Nice. But we're starting our number one overall pick. As you've seen that I traded for number one. Let's go to our draft recap here. All three of our first round rookies are starting, essentially. So Breezy, 81 hidden. Fleming is an 80 hitting. Hid, hidden and ransoms to 79 hidden and then we just did a whole bunch of depth no dev trades after that and I just traded out of the sixth and seventh round so let's hope your number four is better we're going all in another all-in move so we don't know what Julian Fle Fleming's dev trade is yet, but Breezy came out as an X Factor and Ransom came out as a superstar. Nice. All right, so we had our best season to date at nine and seven, right? Lost two to the Broncos. We lost one to the Jags at the end of the season. If we win that, we're in the wild card. But. There's a whole lot of 9-7 and seven going on in this AFC this season. But unfortunately, we did not make postseason in year number four. 
Best record to date yet, though. Ninth offense, eighth defense. Oh, geez. We're getting there. 3,800 yards, 25 scores, 10 picks for Lance. Jacobs, once again, beast. No 1,000-yard receiver, but pretty even ball distribution, I'd say. Kenneth Murray and Dylan Moses, the, the boys. Brian Breezy, 10 sacks in his debut year. Not that much on picks. And nothing special teams wise. But still, top 10 in both offense and defense. This looks pretty good for year number 5. So for MVP, nobody. Nope, didn't make it there either. Lamar Jackson, Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive player of the year. We had Kenneth Murray on that list. Charbonnet, the rookie of the year. Fleming was five. How did Breezy not win rookie of the year on defense? Well, Court Williams wins that. Ransom is at number six. That's QB, Lamar. Running back, Josh Jacobs is number two. No rate is there. Quentin Nelson was number two in offensive line. Brown was 10th. It's DL. Crazy making the best D line in, in rookie year. This man's going to be a beast. Kenneth Murray was 7th for linebackers. Got nobody on the DBs. Rosas, the number one kicker in the AFC, but it's time to go even further all in. I think this is the earliest we've looked at the uh, Pro Bowl list. Josh Jacobs making a Pro Bowl. Okay, none of our receivers made it in. Quentin Nelson made it in. Ryan Kelly made it in. Okay. Breezy was the number one D tackle. Surprised Moses and Murray didn't make it in. But I'll make these decisions. Rosas. But hey, those are your Raider Pro Bowlers. Wow, one more all-in move. Why not? Alright, so here we are. Final draft of the rebuild here. These two were super late rounds but had first round talent grades on them. I went ahead and checked their devs already. They're both star devs. But still, that sort of value in the fourth and the fifth. This guy, Devon here, had a seventh round draft grade on him. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> but other than that, just a whole lot of normals, nothing crazy. Time to go all in. Well, this is nice. Max Crosby got himself a superstar dev. Nice. Y'all, in what looked like it was never going to happen at the beginning of this build, we are now finally in the playoffs. Three years of just a shit show, and then year four we turned it around, just barely missed the playoffs, and now at 10-6, and six, we win the division. Clear two games ahead of the Chiefs and the Broncos. It's like, uh, yes, let's get this upgrade done quick. We're going to check out the stats and the yearly awards, and then we'll go into the sim against Jacksonville. Oh my god. Last, oh, almost dead last in passing yards? You boys got to fix that. What? 31,000. 3,123, 28 touchdowns, 13 picks. He was middle of the road in touchdowns. Josh Jacobs, once again, beast. No 1,000-yard receiver, though Devontae Adams was close to it, 9, 20, and 5. Blocking-wise, 
Well, then again, he did take the bench this season. Because we put a lot of money onto that offensive line. Well, anyway, Moses and Murray are just absolute badasses. Kayvon Thibodeau had 11 sacks, Crosby 9.5, Breezy 9.5. Sacks were way, way up. J.C. Jackson, Kenneth Murray led the team in picks. Any safeties? No. Tutties? No. Kick return touchdowns? Oh, we had one. Nice. And no punt return touchdowns. Yearly awards! 29th in offense. Oof, that's gross. But 13th in defense. I'll take that. Patrick Mahomes was your MVP. For a second, I thought that was Kenneth Murray. Then I looked closer. Gruden did not make the coach of the year list. I guess. Offensive player of the year, Mahomes. No Raiders. Defensive player of the year, Miles Jack. Dylan Moses was 10th on that list. Offensive rookie was Bo Collins. We didn't have any offensive rookies. Demon Reed Carrico. No Raiders. Lamar wins best quarterback, even though Mahomes was offensive player of the year and MVP. Interesting. Run it back. They're sleeping on Josh Jacobs, bro. Like, straight up. No raid is here. Quentin Nelson wins O-line of the year. D-line Thibodeau was number two behind Miles Garrett. And Breezy was fifth. Lineback is... Dylan Moses was number nine on that. J.C. Jackson was the fifth best D-back this season. Okay. Ah, oh, the streak for Rosas has ended. That's unfortunate. But here we go. Into the sim. Wildcard weekend against the Jags. But first, we see what this Moses ability is. He's got run stuffer with inside stuff and run stopper. Nice. Alright, here we are in the sim. You know what? Why did I do that? I'm a silly. I thought I was on offense. No. Back to play the boats. Alright, so... They only managed to get a field goal. Oh, we're driving down the field. Get a touchdown ourselves. Oh, there we go. Tie game. 10-10. Let's get it. They end up going out and getting seven themselves. Oh. Oh, they're up 24 to 10. I'm coming in here. I'm coming in. I'll send you that way. Okay, how was that not P.I., bro? Our dude literally just stopped in my way. How was that not pass interference? Okay, we gotta get some serious luck going here. Okay, three interceptions isn't going to win you football games, bro. I don't know about that. At least we made it to the playoffs. And that is on that is gonna do it for this video here. Um 
it, was, it, it feels like we ended up being like a too little too late kind of thing. Like, we were coming on, we were doing well, and then, like, we sucked the first three years, we managed to be decent the fourth, and then fifth year, we finally put it together to get to the playoffs and then blow it. So, we check our Denzel Mims, now that he's not with us, makes a Pro Bowl. Quentin Nelson, Kelly... Ramchek, Kayvon Thibodeau, and Max Crosby make it in. All right. Dylan Moses, another Pro Bowl for him. But, you know, if I was doing this more than five years, we'd probably be racking out right at the end. At least get through the Super Bowl as far as the sim goes. But that's gonna do it. Um, I don't know what team I'm gonna do next. These rebuilds do take me a while to like actually record them. I actually had to do this one over two days, so. But, you know, we'll figure it out. Cause there's still a couple of teams I do want to cover before Madden 21. So, if you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitch, and I will see you guys soon. Good day, goodbye, and good night.